So the question was, where do we get the courage from to go into our pain? Uh, because really that's what all anger is about. All anger is about not wanting to go into our pain. So where do we get the courage to go into our pain? My, like, the only way I've gotten the courage is by, by talking to God and, and actually learning about truth. What's the truth of this situation? Remember, it's the truth that sets you free. So a lot of people think it's love that sets you free. But love comes to you when truth sets you free. Right? So the truth is a very, very important factor in all of this. The truth is what destroys all fear. Remember fear, you can think of fear as the false expectations or false emotions appearing real to you. So the truth is that everything you're afraid of, including your anger, you have some false beliefs about it. For instance, many of you might believe if you experience your, your anger or rage that you might hurt somebody. Well, you don't have to hurt somebody, but you believe you might. So that's a false expectation you have about getting into your anger. The truth will always destroy false expectations. So allow yourself to feel the truth. And when you feel the truth and, and talk to God about having the courage to face truth, you automatically start facing your emotions as a subsequent result. And God gives us courage through lots of means, but one of the greatest means is by exposing truth to us. When we know the truth, then fear means nothing. So, for instance, many of you may be afraid of death in the sense that if you went along to a funeral of, of your, your husband or wife that you'd cry. If you'd go along to a funeral that you're going to cry, then you're afraid of something. Right? So, so you need to face those fears. The truth about that, if it's entered your heart, will destroy all fear. And it's the truth about everything that destroys all fear. And therefore, since fear or the denial of fear is the creator of anger, obviously the truth also will have the, the effect of destroying the anger. So in a way, the anger is a guide into truth. The anger is telling you when you're not being truthful with yourself. Can you see that? The anger is telling you when you're not being truthful with yourself. Your an the anger is telling you when you're not being humble. Remember we defined humility as the desire, the passionate desire to experience all of your own emotions. If I'm angry, I don't have a passionate desire to experience all of my own emotions because the anger is there to cover over an emotion. Right? So, as soon as I'm angry, I know I'm not being humble. As soon as I'm angry, I know I'm not in truth. So anger is fantastic because it tells you straight away when you're in error. Straight away, the instant you feel that even the tiny, mildest of annoyances, you are now in error and you know it if you acknowledge that that annoyance was there. But if you don't acknowledge that annoyance was there, you're not going to acknowledge the truth that you're actually covering over a large emotion. So therefore, you'll never experience that large emotion and get closer to God. Does that make sense to everyone? That's why it's so important to deal with your anger.